Happy New Year's. 2025 sounds like the perfect year, but to help you close out the year with the perfect video, we're going to dive into some of the best motion graphic edits that you can use for this New Year's. So let's open After Effects and get started. All right, we have a lot of great techniques in this one, like stylized 3D text here, the confetti particles that will stick to the floor, and all these other graphics to help you produce any project you're working on. Just be sure to invite me to your New Year's party. Okay, we're gonna start with the Showstopper, which is the 2025 3D text. Once you have a title, make it have that 3D cube. Then quickly pop over to the renderer dropdown and check advanced 3D. So then you can go into the extrusion depth and increase this value. And to help round out this text, set the bevel style to convex and the bevel depth to say five. Now we have some awesome 3D text, but let's make it golden. We can try to change the color to a goldish yellow here, but I also want the front of the font to be black. So we can go to animate, front, color, RGB and then set that color to black and now we're getting somewhere to help illustrate this even better Create a white solid layer and we'll call it floor Then make it a 3d layer by adding a cube and then you can set the X rotation to 90 degrees and lower the Y position to be just under your text then be sure to scale this like there's no tomorrow. Now, create an environment light with cast shadows checked, and this should give you this beautiful shadow like so. And you may also need to make sure that cast shadow is set to on for your text layer. Now, to see this all a little better, go ahead and create a camera with the 50 millimeter preset. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't accept film. <laughs> anyway, use the camera tools here at the top to re-angle your scene however you see fit. And now we can see that reflective cinematic look is, you know, kind of still missing. So under your text material options, set the specular intensity and shininess to 100%. Looking good. We can also adjust the floor's material options by messing around with the same settings. And it's also worth trying metal. Music or the setting, it doesn't matter. But you should know that you can actually mess around with the light's intensity to help you have a brighter or darker look. You can also edit your floor's color to say black to darken the scene as well. So it's up to you on how to harness this power of design. And to help you further your power of motion graphics, you can save countless hours on every project with our Motion Duck platform, which allows you to preview and import from over 40,000 pre-made templates in which you can edit and finish your project within moments. You can get our free template pack and animation presets in the description below. Alrighty, let's pick up the pace and make this scene come to life. First, did you know that there's a really cool option to animate the light's rotation? You should try it as this is a good technique to get this party started. We can also add keyframes for the camera's point of interest and position, and then use the dolly towards cursor tool here at the top to zoom in or out of the scene. And now the party is getting started. And to build a dance floor, we need to hide this cut. So we can use the linear white transition and apply it to the floor. Then set the angle to zero and slightly adjust the completion and the feather. And now we can break it down. If you like, we can animate this text by clicking enable per character 3D, then add say position. From here, all you need to do is increase the Y position to raise the text above the composition. Lastly, just animate the range selector start from zero to 100% and bam. Nice. You can also randomize the order if that's what you'd like to do. To angle this a little better, I'll make sure that we add rotation as an animator 3 and just slide the Y value to give some New Year's attitude. You know, I'm really dropping the ball here with the script, but you know, that's exactly what we're going to do next. So you can create a legit sphere with the ellipse tool by drawing out a circle with shift on your keyboard. Then go inside of the shape layer and set the size to exactly 2. Make it 3D and set the bevel depth to 100 and the style to convex. And then you can copy the material options of your text and paste it to the material options of the sphere to quickly style this all. We can easily create a 3D cylinder to help hold the sphere in place by drawing another small circle. And after making it 3D, just increase the extrusion depth by you know, 500 plus and then set the X rotation to 90 degrees. And of course, just position this on top of the sphere the best that you can. And then we can parent it to the sphere and animate that sphere to drop into your scene 
by animating the position. You can do what you want with the material options and feel free to duplicate. All right, the scene looks good, but we're here to celebrate the new year, right? So let's add some confetti that will stick to the floor. Create yourself a solid layer and add the CC particle world effect. First things first, dial in the particle settings by setting the type to a quad polygon. And that's the closest thing to confetti for me, but I would set the rotation speed to zero, the birth and depth size to 0.1, the max opacity to 100% and completely fill out the opacity map. <laughs> okay, change the colors to any color that you think confetti should look like. And when ready, go to the producer and set the emitter to be above the composition and increase the radius values to spread out the particles over the entire scene. Now for the best part, under physics, set the floor to bounce and adjust the bounciness as you wish. All you need to do is increase the birth rate and longevity to celebrate the new year. The only issue that we have right now is that the particles seem to be sticking to the text. So to fix this, you can set the track mat of the particle layer to your 3D text and be sure to invert it and then set your text back to on as it seems the end of the world chaos has been avoided. Now, I would be doing you a disservice if I leave you here without some finishing effects. So pre-compose everything and call it party like it's 1999. All right, apply the 3D channel extract effect and use the black and white points to make whatever you want to be in focus black and whatever you want to be out of focus white. Then I would apply the depth of field effect and increase the maximum radius. Finally, duplicate this comp, delete the effects, which will erase all of our work. <laughs> apply the camera lens blur effect from blur and sharpen, and then set this drop down to the bottom composition and set this other drop down to effects and mask. Now you have the ability to increase the blur power to create a cinematic depth of field. These graphics on the side are just vector elements which you can get for free with this tutorial. But happy new years, thank you for watching, and always be creating.